Professor Proboscis, you have a new message from King Bachingo. And of course, none of you manservants bother to get the Viax. Come, manservant Jake, let's go to it. There's no reason to dilly dally. It is I, King Bachingo. And Professor Proboscis, I have a new mission for you. Several of our colonels have been abusing their power and reshaping a planet to their will. You must stop this. King Bachingo out. Hey, when I was drafted into this job, I heard most of the things you do were unethical. But correcting the behaviors of colonels doesn't seem all that bad. Whoever said that must have never worked with me before. Everything I do is for the greater good and fathers the glory of Tepe. Sir, upon review of the mission briefing, may I suggest that we bring in our ship and go to Red Alert. They appear to have starships of their own. That is a good idea, Tepe Troop Number 22. I want all weapons primed and ready for combat. Tepe Troop Number 42, I want you to prepare a security team for me when I go down to the planet. I would bet that these cannons are going to be under man. It should be fairly easy to overpower them if need be. Good. My manservant and I must make our way to the planet now. Viax, you have the bridge. Time machine teleporter, activate! Let's see. Planet RTS-2834. A semi-developed planet, primarily grassland with a population around 2 billion. The largest city is Tepe City number 34859. I bet those colonels we're hunting are almost guaranteed to be in city 34859. That way they would have the largest influence over the planet. Agreed. The homing chip only reinforces such hypothesis. Man, servant Jake, get me my laser rifle there will certainly be some type of guard protecting them my data pad says that weapons can be scanned in this area is it possible they are hiding out in a less obvious position that is a keen observation tepe troop number 44 let's scout out the city before we do anything else everything seems normal here just a normal city doing normal city things I don't think there's any crypt kernels on this planet. That's where you're wrong. This city is far too developed to only be under the semi-developed class. They most certainly were here. Professor, the embassy looks rather ramshackled. I think our culprits must have gutted it out and took position as governor. That is true, all of it. I am Joe Billings, deputy governor of Arcados. And may I welcome you to our splendid planet. This is the Governor's Palace. That is where you will be staying as our honored guest. Before we go anywhere, this city appears to be five levels higher than it should be on the Development Index. I would like to know how that happened, and who allowed that to happen. All will be explained in due time. Now please come follow me. You should see what the governor has done with the place. It is ten times more splendid than before. Billings, are these the visitors you said were coming? I am shocked that Professor Profuscus has graced our humble planet. Welcome to Arcados. Drop the fake pageant trees. I merely want to know why five colonels have left the military and have decided to mess with the developmental progress of this planet. Immediately. You do not approve, but look around. Doesn't everyone look so happy and so well fed? I couldn't wait four years until they had the same propriety as the rest of Tepe. You still fail to explain why five colonels have set up residency here. Developing planets are strictly off limits unless you are officially assigned here. Are you aware of that? Well, I and some of my friends had this dream of a perfect urban utopia, and we wondered how to do this. Then we found the perfect template, Arcados, that is here. So we started our work. Odd, 
I never heard of this being justification for your unlawful pilgrimage here. Now please give me a direct answer or I will shoot. I'm going to have to ask you to put that away. All weapons, rudimentary or advanced, have been eliminated from Arcados. We find weapons only serve to correct the violence that they invite. You want my laser rifle put away? Answer the question, or prepare to be annihilated. Why have you unlawfully settled here? Governor, answer our guest's questions. Maybe if we have splendid enough answers, he will let us stay on this planet and continue our mission. Fine, Professor. I will give you the direct answer you want. We all came here to make a better life for ourselves after being prisoners of war in the CPAS. I fail to see the relation. Wouldn't your experience only want to make you fight harder for the Republic of Tepe? Not attempt to undermine it? No, Professor. Because in that prison camp, we had a better life than we had in Tepe. Even more freedoms. The CPAS isn't all that bad. Are you saying that you want to bring democracy and free will to Tepe? When that undermines every code of our empire? Hear me out, Professor. The CPAS is not without its flaws. But we can improve upon its methods. We, Professor, can build the best society there is in the galaxy. You have signed the death certificate for this planet. There is no hope that the re-education process can return them to the right Tepe path. I must now return to my ship. I can't allow you to deploy Operation Warbird here. It will destroy monumental progress that affects all of the galaxy. Professor, I'm going to have to fight you on this, and that is not something I want to do. Go ahead. I am not afraid of your imposer-class ships. May they die with the greatest dishonor, not being in the service of Tepe. We have received a message from Professor Proboscis saying expect to encounter enemy ships shortly. Prepare a Tepe charge maneuver. Tepe Troop Number 27, raise the shields at 75% power with extra being diverted to weapons. All weapons ready, scanning for targets and establishing locks. It appears that they do not have any fighters on them. Tepe Troop Number 22, they are in range, firing neutron missiles. Lieutenant Colonel Vax, may I suggest contacting them after the initial hit? Unnecessary, Professor Novoskis has ordered that we commence Operation Warbird on the planet, meaning we have go-ahead to annihilate. Laser, laser turret, turret, laser noise. turret noise! Explosion noise! Shields holding at 68%, though I will note that our attackers have completely lost their shields capability. Next round of neutron missiles ready, and they are away. Neutron, neutron missile, missile noise. noise. Explosion, Explosion noise. noise. All detecting enemies destroyed. Plotting course to planet atmosphere to start Operation Warbird. Good. Those stupid colonels want to make one of our own planets a quasi CPAS. What nonsense is that? Professor Proboscis, where is your manservant? Didn't he beam down with you, or was I mistaken? I left him on the planet. He'd rather be part of that democracy loving fools club than be in the service of Tepe. What idiocracy! I think we have more pressing matters. A third Imposer class ship has risen up from the planet's surface. They are on a direct collision course with the pride of Tepe. Establish weapons lock. If that ship rams us, we will all be lost at the worst. And at the best, the ship will be crippled and crashing down towards the planet's surface. We must pick up speed. Billings, I should have listened to you when you said we should have left in some automated systems. What are we going to do? We can't let them destroy our dreams. We have more pressing matters. If we fail to destroy the pride of Tepe A, Arcadus will be carpet bombed and our people destroyed. All of our progress will be lost. Please do not remind me, but our collective willpower will not make this ship go any faster. Is it possible we can divert any energy from shields just to get a little extra boost? 
The shields were removed to make environmental controls for more advanced farming systems, which are now doomed to destruction, much like us. I should have been content in my previous life. As Professor Proboscis would remind us, there are only two ways in life. The wrong way, and the Tepe way. Weapons locked. Neutron missiles are away. Neutron, Neutron missile, missile noise. noise. Explosion noise.